on during the broadcast as Rilo Dinga speaks on an array of issues. But let's shift focus to unfortunate news where three people have been confirmed dead while scores are nursing injuries following fresh ethnic clashes along the Kisumu Kericho border. Now, the attackers are said to have come from the neighboring county, even as more details are forthcoming. Let's take a look at that report that highlights the divisions around the Kadianga location in Upper Nyakach Division on Tuesday night, where terror was unleashed on residents before the perpetrators fled the scene. Distraught families gathered at Nyabondo Mochari in Nyakach Kisumu on Wednesday after their loved ones were killed in attack by a known group of people at Sondu area on Kisumu Kericho border. The family of David Otieno Oliech is among those in mourning. Brian Odiambo, a 23-year-old student at Kaimosi Technical College, met his fate in an equally brutal fashion. He had his hand chopped off and several cuts on his head and neck. The boy was attacked at night in a house where he was uh, sleeping. So he was cut several times. The head, the hand, his left hand is chopped off, the legs and all that. So he has succumbed to those uh, cuts. Kisumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyongo said it was unfortunate that the ethnic clashes in Sondu were happening even as President William Ruto is set to visit the Lakeside City on Friday. His Kericho counterpart Dr. Eric Mutai has urged Nyongo against playing politics with the lives of innocent Kenyans, stressing the importance of mature and constructive dialogue during the challenging times. Shifting of planes will not provide a solution to this problem. I have seen my counterpart, my senior brother and elder brother from Kisumu, Professor Nyangyong. He has given out his statements consistently, pointing out that this menace is, uh, is, actually, is actually led by Kericho. I would wish to indicate that as leaders, it is not the time to cast as passion. It is not the time to play politics into the lives of innocent people. But it's time to sit and show direction. Religious leaders have also urged the government to find a lasting solution for the perennial clashes. It is our prayer from today that something will be done. If it is a matter of also increasing the security organs, please let it be done so that we live in a peaceful environment the way we've been in Sondo. We are requesting the national government kindly please help us have a police post of the GSU just near our border. That way, at least, we'll have some hope that in case of any eventuality that has happened like this, then we'll be safe. Tunabo pigana vita katika ala mkutakamia mambo ya uvumi, haitha tusaidia, tutaribu mji wetu, kama siku ya leo, mashule zote ambaye siku sondo town pale, zote simefungwa, watoto wameenda, wana wengine hata wana wasasi wao, wana kimbia huko na kule, awana male wakimbilia. The boundary between Kisumu and Kiricho counties has been contentious for years, with the original boundary believed to have been behind Sondo police station, which was in Kisumu county. In 1992, the border was taken back to Kiricho county. In July this year, there was another clash between the communities at the Kiricho-Kisumu border. <laughs> Bramwell Bire, Kete News, Kisumu. Well, we now want to bring you the latest reaching our newsrooms right now in terms of breaking news, all to do with the reorganization of the